Hey everybody, it's Blu-ray Perry, and it's time for another edition of Coffee and Cameras. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of uh, started this about a week ago because I want to do a video about something that wasn't really uh, something I normally do a video about. It's, I, normally I'm like an educational kind of video, and I just kind of want to do a video because I want to talk about something, right? And I want to talk about the, the uh, Fuji X-Pro3 and how they had discontinued it. And I got to thinking that uh, maybe there's a place on my channel for me to start doing like a regular video, like a regular series, where I just talk about stuff that's, that's interesting to me, about photography or about cameras or whatever. And it would just kind of be a, be a place to, to hang out and, and chit-chat a little bit about what's going on. I'm actually thinking about maybe doing this live. So jump down in the comments and let me know. Like, what do you think about the idea of me doing like a live thing once a week where I just talk about stuff that's going on in the industry or whatever's interesting to me. And then we'd have a live feed going at the same time where people could comment and people could ask me questions. I had another idea. <laughs> We're going to get to the topic in a minute. I had another idea about doing a, an Ask Me Anything video where people could send in questions, ask a photographer, and then I would just make a video where I would, I, I would answer these questions. You know, Mr. Richard Fader from Fort Lee, New Jersey writes in, give yourself a star if you understand what that reference was right there. Mm. So the thing I want to talk about this week is my photo lab. My photo lab is Miller's Lab. Miller's Lab is one of the largest labs in the country. And they are not sponsoring this video in any way, shape, or form. Although, uh, they have sponsored me in the past doing other things. Not, not on my channel, though. So, let me talk a little bit about, about Miller's Lab and my experience with them. I uh, started about, I guess, 12, 13 years ago as a professional photographer. And I used several different labs. And I shopped around. And one of the things that kind of kept me from using Miller's early on was that they were a little bit more expensive, right? Just a little bit more expensive. Like, so like an eight by 10 from Miller's would be a little bit more expensive when we're talking 20 cents or something like that than an eight by 10 from some of the smaller labs. So I was using smaller labs for my print work. And then I started doing weddings and bar mitzvahs and I needed somebody for my albums. So I looked at Miller's album selection, and their album selection is unbelievable. And they're always changing it. They're always adding you know, new covers, new cover designs, new fabrics, new, new things, new stamping, new embossing, embossing, you name it. They're always adding all these different options to their covers. And I thought, well, you know, they've got a really good price on their albums, <laughs> a really good price. And the thing about Miller's is they have the fastest turnaround. I'm not kidding you. I literally ordered an album on Monday once and it arrived on Tuesday. Yeah, it arrived the next day. So here's the thing about Miller's when I say they're a little bit more expensive too. I just want to get this out of the way. The thing about Miller's is, is that they don't charge you for shipping. It's built into your order. So they have a minimum order. And I don't even know what the minimum order is right now. And I'm not going to say because this video could be here for a while and it could change. But there's usually like a minimum order. It's like $10 or $15 or something like that. And shipping is included. Now with other places, you know, I, it would be like I need one print and it's going to cost me a dollar. And shipping is $7.50. So it's $8.50 if I order it from there. But if I order it from Miller's because of the minimum, it's going to be $10. And that was one of the things that made me go, oh, well, you know, I, I'll go, I'll save the $1.50 over here. And that was all well and good until I started doing more volume jobs and bigger gigs, right? And I had several times where like dance images that I did for dance companies and stuff like that would come in. We're talking about big packs of 5x7s and 8x10s and there'd be problems and I would have to send them back. And so finally, I sat down and I looked at the numbers and I realized that on these big giant orders that I was saving a grand total of maybe 20 bucks or 30 bucks by not using Miller's. And Miller's, on every album I had ever sent them, the album was always perfect. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try start using Miller's even though it's going to cost me a little bit more money. And man, have I never regretted it. <laughs> because... because everything comes back right. It comes back right every single time that I use them, you know? And you pay a little bit more for quality. You pay a little bit more for service. And it's worth it when you're trying to run a business. So that's my 
that's my consumer side, talking about Millers and, and why I love Millers and, and, and why I use them to this day for everything. If I just need one print, it's coming from Millers because I know it's going to be right. So here's the other thing about being a consumer with Millers. When I first started out, I called several labs, uh, you know, to talk to them about becoming, you know, I'm a photographer now and how do I become a, with your lab and how do I use your lab? And there were several people that I called that the, they just didn't seem real eager to talk to me. You know, like <laughs> Ghostbusters, what do you want? <laughs> right? But Millers, every time you call Millers, you get someone on the phone who is bright and happy and they seem genuinely eager to solve your problem. Right? They don't know me when I call. They don't know who I am. And I am with Millers. I'm, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but when I call, I'm just a customer and they, they take care of me. They want to solve the problem. I once had Miller's contact me because I had ordered two identical copies of an album and they contacted me to make sure I hadn't made a mistake and hadn't put the album in twice. Yeah, right. Just to make sure they didn't print this album up and send it to me and charge me for it or that, you know, I, you know right. That's, that's the attention to detail that you want from your lab. You want somebody to double check you because I don't know about you, but when I'm doing an album, right before I hit that send button is probably the most nervous I am at any time that I do anything because you just know you've made a mistake somewhere and it's gonna come back on you and you're gonna have to reprint the whole album and albums are not inexpensive in any way, shape or form to print. So my consumer experience with Miller's has been, has been fantastic and they're one of the largest, if not the largest labs in the country. And you just know you can depend on them. You're going to get your, you're going to get, the turnaround is going to be unbelievable. The quality is going to be fantastic. And when you have a problem, if you have a problem or a question, you can call them and someone will get on the phone and they will help you with it. Oh, I'll tell you what else they have. They have album design software and they also have fantastic software if you're doing events. Uh, if you're doing like volume, like school portraits or something like that. They have all the software so you can have it running right there on location and put in the student's name, the class name, etc and have it all cataloged for you. And then when you print to deliver to the school, everything comes back to you already inside the envelopes correctly. So you can just distribute it to the school easily. I mean, it, it really cuts down on a ton of the work. Mm. It's just, I can't say enough about that. So now, remember I said, I'm not nobody kind of, okay. So let me explain that to you. Um, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, uh, I was a new photographer and I was at Imaging USA. And if you don't know anything about Imaging USA, it's the largest photography conference, I think, in the world. It's put on by the Professional Photographer Association of America, about 35,000 members in the PPA. Uh, I'm a member of the PPA. Um, they also have a degree program where you can become a master photographer, a master wedding photographer, a master artist. They have a craftsman photography program where you become a photo photographic craftsman, which means that you're a teacher. Uh, they have all of these great programs. You can get your insurance through them. Um, PPA, you know, join PPA if you're not a member of PPA. And they have this big convention and about 10,000 photographers show up every year. And Miller's is a platinum sponsor of this convention. So when you go to the trade show, and this is a huge trade show, giant trade show, there's always going to be some booths that are bigger than others, right? There's going to be the Canon booth, <laughs> a giant booth, all the Canon people. And there's going to be there's going to be the Miller's booth, and it's a giant booth, and there's other labs too. And let me be clear that because I love Miller's and I've been using them for years, that doesn't mean that the other labs aren't also fantastic. There are some great labs out there, uh, absolutely great labs out there. And so, my first Imaging USA in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, a friend of mine took me over to the Miller's booth and he introduced me to somebody at Miller's, and her name is Deborah. And he said, this is a photographer friend of mine, and uh, he used to be a disc jockey, and he's going to start speaking, and I wanted to introduce him to you. And this lovely woman, who had never met me before, put me onto the Miller speaking team. I had never spoken in any national stage. I'd only spoken locally. I'd spoken at the local guilds around Florida, and she put me onto the Miller speaking team. Now, what does that mean? It means that when you go and you speak at a convention, or you speak at some local camera club, or something like that, uh, that when you do your presentation, you talk a little bit about uh, Miller's and uh, Miller's gives you door prizes to give out, you know, which is great. People love door prizes and they also give you a little bit of money. And this is, you know, it's all marketing for them, right? To have you out there 
talking about their company to all of these photographers. And it makes it so that people like me, who are full-time working pros, can't afford to suddenly drop everything for two days and fly to Massachusetts and speak at a state convention. Uh, you know, the state convention is going to pay you, but also Miller's is going to pay you a little bit too. It's just, you know, it's like being sponsored here on, on the, I want to say podcast, on the YouTube channel. There's not a good, there's not a good name for YouTube channels. Mm. So since that time, I have been probably a thorn and an aggravation in the side of Deborah. Uh, because if I have a problem, if I have a question, whatever, I email Deborah, I call Deborah. This woman, I don't even know what Deborah's title is, but for me, her title is uh, most wonderful liaison that I've ever dealt with in anything I've ever done in my life. It, it just, and she is an exact example of the sort of attention that I've gotten from anyone I've ever spoken to at Miller's. Right, like she was the first one, and then after that, every person I've ever spoken to, if I call for customer service, it doesn't matter what it is, they are always just like that. They are eager to help, they are happy to hear from you, and they take care of your problem. And I just can't say enough about my whole experience of working with Millers as a speaker and as a customer. I don't get any discounts or anything because I'm on the speaking team. Now, there's something else that Millers did for me, and and. Part of the reason I wanted to make this video was so I could talk about this and, 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 and give them a thank you. And I understand when you hear this story, you'll go, well, you were doing something for them too, Boure. Well, yeah, I was. But I don't know. It was a bigger deal to me than it was to them. So when I first started as a photographer, you join the PPA and you get the PPA magazine, which is called Professional Photographer. It comes every single month. And Miller's takes out a giant double-page ad. And it's like the first thing you see when you open the ma magazine. Like on the first few pages, the Miller's ad. It's always there. And they would always feature a photographer in that ad, right? My lab is Miller's, or they'd have a different slogan. And there'd be a picture of this photographer and some examples of their work and then something about this photographer and why they use Miller's. For me, when I was first starting out, seeing this ad in PPA Magazine every month was like, you know... <laughs> You open up the magazine, you see that ad, and you go, yeah, that's a real photographer, you know? I'm, I'm trying to be a photographer. I'm trying to make a living at this. I'm trying to get good at this. But, but this person here, the person in the ad, that's like a real photographer. You know, that's like a rock star photographer or something. I don't know, but that's, those are real photographers. It's not like me. I'm just kind of faking it. <laughs> but that's, that's the real deal. So... Years went by and my business became successful and I became known as a speaker and traveling around and Miller's response to me and everything was great. And I, I got my master photographer's degree. I got my master wedding photographer's degree this year. Uh, I got my craftsman's degree. Um, I, you know, I, I got my share of awards and, and things like that. And then one day, Miller's called me up and they said, we'd like to feature you in an ad that's going to run in professional photographer. And all the things that I've ever achieved as a photographer, right? I don't think any of them meant as much to me as that. <laughs> and, it, and I know that seems weird, but it was just that little thing that you latch on to when you first start out, you know? And, you know, have I made it? Yeah, I've made it, but I've never been in a Miller's ad. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. I, the way other people, the may, people in the music industry maybe latch on to getting a Grammy Award. For me, my Grammy Award, my Academy Award was being featured in a Miller's ad. Now, I know they, they've got to do 12 of these ads a year and they've got to find people to be in them. So, you know, from their perspective, probably not such a big deal. But to me, yeah, it was a very big deal. And it was especially funny because at the time, the ads that they were running, they would put your face on one side and they would put a word over your face. And the word would be like, you know, uh, creative, you know, or, or, you know, what a zing or whatever. It would be something to describe your work. <laughs> this would be the word they put over your face. And the word they put over my face was bure. <laughs> like, we, they didn't give me a word. They just put my name over it. <laughs> like, like, like. You know, 
I think it, you know it's Bure. Y'all know Bure, right? <laughs> you know, I think that describes that describes him. Sting, Madonna, <laughs> whatever. So um, it was a really big deal uh, for me to get that ad, and uh, I really do cherish it as much as any other recognition or reward uh, that I've ever received. So that's my story. That's my that's my coffee and camera story for today. Is Bure, what's your lab? Why is it your lab? And what does your lab mean to you? Mm. And uh, it's Miller's. They're my lab because they've never made a mistake on anything I've ever ha sent to them. And what they mean to me is a company that not only works for photographers, but supports photography. Because Miller's, everything I've ever done when it goes to going to conventions, um, charity work, uh, you name it, Miller's is always there. Miller's is always on the forefront of that. And I do believe that you want to reward businesses that are giving back to the community. You want to reward businesses that are giving back to the culture. And Miller's does that. So if, you're, if you don't have a lab and you're looking for a lab, I would strongly encourage you to uh, take a look at Miller's because uh, they have never let me down. Never, ever let me down. I would also strongly encourage you to throw me a like and a subscription if this is the first time watching my video. Mm. This is a unique video if this is your first time here. Normally, I'm not just rambling on like this. Normally, there's much more focus to what I'm doing, but we're trying something new. As an example, it's an excuse really for me to just sit here and chit-chat with you. Uh, throw me a like, throw me a subscription. Be sure and check out my merch, my thing right down there. Bing, bing. My shirts and stuff are down there. By the way, the best thing about creating this merch is that now I have a shirt to wear every time I make a video. Whereas before, I had to worry, worry that, oh, I'm going to wear this old shirt. And people are going to, geez, Bure, buy a new shirt. <laughs> and now I'm like, no, I'll just wear one of my, my hoodies. I love hoodies, hoodies anyway, so I can wear this hoodie every time. Uh, so check out my merch and check out my gear page. And all my gear is there. And if you click one of those links and you buy a piece of gear, I get a little something. And it helps me to support this channel. And also, if you want to support the channel, there's the, what's it called? The tip thing? Is it called tip? Gratuity? I don't know what it's called. But you know what it is, right? It's right down the thing where you can click the thing and you can just donate. I feel really weird mentioning that um, because I'm just not the type to be like, hey, would you give me some money? But people have done it. People do it. And they're like, you know, they like my channel and they like my content. And they know it takes money to create this channel and it has to take off work to do it. And so they, they kick in a little something to help it going. And I really do appreciate it. So that's why I'm mentioning it is because I want you to know that if you do it, I really do appreciate it. All right, that's another episode of Coffees and Camera in the Bag. Stick around. There's more on the way.